welcome to today's session. So we continue looking at the 2022 GCE Mathematics Paper 2. And our question of interest is question 12 and it leads find the equation of the tangent of a curve y is equal to 1 plus 3x minus 3x square at the point 1 comma 1. So our question is to find the equation. Okay, we find the equation. So now we are using the principle of tangents. So if a line is tangent or two equations are tangent to each other, at that point of tangents, they share the same slope. So the gradient is the same. So now given an equation y is equal to 1 plus 3x minus 3x squared, we can easily find the gradient by differentiating the change in y with respect to change in x is equal to uh, base card 3 minus 6x. So 6x in that case. So what we are just using the normal differentiation lu. Then at the point when x is equal to 1, what's the value? So we substitute 3 minus 6 multiplied by 1. So we get minus 3. So the garden there is a negative 3. Then we use the fact that a general equation is equal to m, which is a gradient, multiplied by x plus c. Then we know m. m is basically negative 3 at the 1, 1, because these two equations are tangent to each other. They share the same slope. Then we can find the value of c at, because we know the value of x and y at 1, 1. So the value of y at 1, 1 is 1. Then we know what m is. m is negative 3. Then what's the value of x is 1 at 1, 1 plus c. So what we get is 1 is equal to minus 3 plus c. So c basically equals c equals basically nothing uh, but a positive 4. Then since we know c, then we can substitute. So y is equal to what is m? m is negative 3, which is gradient multiplied by x plus 4. So this one is basically the equation which is tangent to the curve at 1 comma 1. So basically this is how you get the three marks. Okay, let us move to question B. So Question B, the, the graph is a bit faint, so we just move to a more uh, clear version, which is has been redone. So what you notice is the graph that we are seeing here is the same graph here, but it has been redone for proper visualization. So B leads, the following diagram shows the graph y is equal to 27x minus x to the power 3. Then Lama numeral 1 use the graph to solve the equations. Okay, so we have this equation which is 27 times x minus x to the power 3 is equal to 0. So we are looking for, remember this is y, we are looking for the point on this graph where the value of y is equal to 0 or where the graph crosses the, the, the x axis. So this is basically, the x axis is basically this line. Okay, then at the first point, what you notice is from here to here, there are five subunits, and this each one makes up a one unit. So each of these sub small units is 0 0.2. So if you see from here, from negative 5, the first point it closes this point from negative 5 to here, we have one subunit, so we have basically a negative 5.2 as our first value of x. Then the next one is at the origin, so at this origin x is basically equal to 0. Then the third value where this curve crosses the, the x-axis is at this point, so if you notice here is basically what we have is basically again 5.0 in this case now it's supposed to 5.2. So these are the three values of uh, x, where this curve is equal to zero. Let us move to B. B is asking us, find the value of x, or solve where 27x 
minus x to the power 3, which is this original function, is equal to this another function, which is 5x plus 10. So we have basically two functions there now. 5, y is equal to 27x minus x to the power 3. Then we also have y is equal to 5x plus 10. So we are looking for the point where these two functions have the same value of y. So what we do is, is to draw this line on the same existing function. So we superimpose on uh, this function, this function already. So for last, we just need to pick two points. So let us start with a point. Let us say, for example, we pick, uh, uh, let us say, negative 5. So when y is equal to, when x is equal to negative 5, what's the value of this function? So it will be basically y is equal to 5 times negative 5 plus uh, 10. We end up with negative 25 plus 10. So we end up with negative 15. So negative 15 is basically uh, somewhere halfway here. So it will be somewhere at this point somewhere at this this point okay then when uh y when x is equal to zero so when x is equal to zero in this function what happens y is basically equal to 10 because it will be five times zero with zero plus 10 is 10 so y is basically equal to 10 so it's passing somewhere here okay so if you have your ruler you can join these two points using that but since I'm not using a ruler, I can look for another point to just guide me. So when x is equal to 2, what's the value of y? So it will be uh, 5 five times 2, 10 plus 10, 10. So it will be uh, 10 here. Okay, it will be 10 plus 10, it will be 20, sorry. So it will be 20, then I join this line, I'll draw a line like this. So now it's this line that we need to lead. So at the point where the, the point of in, intersection, these points, is where we are looking for. So if you use a ruler in an exam, it will be much more accurate. So we've superimposed it in a more clear, on a clear version like this one. So once we superimpose like this, you discover that you need to read this point. So the first point that we need to read is this one. So if you notice this one, this is just one point short for of uh, negative five. So this x should be basically minus, you see, a 5 point, uh, negative 5 minus 0. 0.2 is basically 4.8 as the first value of x. The second value of x is at this point. So if you notice at that point, we have how many lines? Uh, basically 3, 2 after 0. So this is basically giving us about 0.4, uh, the value of x. Then the third value of x, where these are closing. So we have basically 4, 4.1, 4.2. So roughly about positive 4.4. Because it's two uh, boxes after the, the 4. So 4.4. So these are the values of uh, x so this is how you solve this point and this point to get uh, the full max okay let us go to loma numero uh, 2 of b calculate an estimate of the gradient of the curve at the point where x is equal to 2 x is equal to 2 so the gradient of this curve so what we need to do is we have y is equal to 227x minus x to the power 3. Then we differentiate with respect to x the change in y as a result of change in x. We are getting 27 minus 3x square. Then we substitute. So it's 27 minus 3 multiplied by 2 square. So we get 27 minus 3 multiplied by 2 square is basically 12. So we are getting positive 15. So at 2, this slope, the slope is very high. It's about 15. So for every one unit change in x, we are getting 15 units change in y. So basically, that's how you solve this kind of equation to get these two points. Lastly, but not the least, 
area bounded by the curve x axis and x is equal to 3 x axis and x is equal to 3 so let me just clear the board so that I have a clear version so that you see properly so what you notice is basically we have this line so is is this area we're talking about x axis so we're talking about this area it's the area we are talking about okay so if if you count so we know that this unit this unit single unit is a 1 by 10 which gives us 10 units square so we have 1 unit square 2 unit square 3 unit square 4 unit square 5 unit square 6 unit square 7 unit square then this one and, th and this one gives a, gives us 8 unit square then this one and this one gives us 9 unit square so basically you are talking about roughly about 90 unit squares 90 unit square so this is an estimated area bounded by the x axis okay and x is equal to 3 so it's this area we are talking about so basically this is how you deal with this kind of a question thank you for joining us today till next time